A town in central North Dakota has been evacuated because of an oil train derailment. The train seen here caught fire soon after. We now go to Chris Van Cleve in Washington, who's covering the developing story. Chris, what do we know as of today? Vlad and Elaine, we're hearing 10 uh, rail cars out of this 109 car train after the derailment caught fire. 10 cars burning. You can see from the pictures it was a very large fire. It prompted the evacuation wow. of a small town, Heimdall, North Dakota home to about 36 people, we understand. No injuries reported, and they are staying with relatives and friends, authorities on the ground say. We know that there are fire and hazmat crews from all over North Dakota heading to this scene. It is a very rural part of North Dakota, so it's going to take a couple of hours to get some of the advanced hazmat crews on scene. We also know a team of 10 Federal Railroad Administration uh, investigators are on their way to the scene. They expect to be there within the next hour or so to begin trying to figure out what caused this derailment. You know, this is now one in a number of similar derailments. There was a, another uh, train car that was hauling uh, crude oil that derailed in North Dakota in December. You may remember uh, a couple of months ago the one in West Virginia that derailed and caught fire. And the safety of rail cars has been the focus of the Department of Transportation and the NTSB lately. In fact, the Department of Transportation just last week announced new safety standards for newer, stronger rail cars. That goes into effect in October, but the NTSB is saying even these new requirements are not strong enough. Some of those new rail cars uh, were the ones that burned in West Virginia. We don't know the age of the rail cars here in North Dakota, but a very large fire. One resident told our CBS affiliate in North Dakota that it sounded like thunder, and then, of course, this giant fire began. Glad and Elaine.